Good morning, Pastor Larry here, Millerton Wesleyan Church, and today I'm continuing on developing our Christian character, and I'll be reading from 2 Peter chapter 1, beginning with verse 3 to verse 6. But this time we'll be discussing about practicing our Christian virtues, practicing our Christian virtues. And what does that look like? Beginning with verse 3 from 2 Peter chapter 1. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. You see, God has given us all that we need through his power. Through the power of his Holy Spirit, we could live a godly life. We just need to listen. Through the, our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. So God has called us. And we know God, and through that, and through the power, we can live a godly life. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promise, so that through them, you may practice in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption of the world caused by evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, perseverance, godliness. Each of these virtues we can gain more strength in as we practice them every day. Goodness, being good, doing good, knowledge, knowing God, knowing who he is, know that he is with you no matter what circumstances you are going through, no matter where you are, know that God is always with you. Self-control. We know that this is the hard one, don't we? I know it's very difficult. I even have struggled with having self-control. I don't always do very well, but I practice. And then perseverance. Perseverance is a key. We need to continue. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. But perseverance is more than just that. Perseverance is not giving up, not quitting. You know, there's been many times over the years that I've been in ministry that people have said, well, I've tried God, or I've tried religion, or I've tried church. I like Yoda from Star Wars when he said, there is no try. There's only do. We need to do what is right and what we are called to do. And we need to continue to practice perseverance and continuing on. May the Lord bless you. May he give you the strength that you need to continue to do his work and his call on your life. God bless you.